Let's see. Looks like right now you're stuck in your head, all right? There's a situation where you're not doing anything about it or you feel that you can't do anything about it, but there's a lot that you can do, okay? It's you who's looking at things as if, you know, you're feeling very stuck, tied and bound to a situation, whereas you can't get out of it, okay? It's literally like you're coming in your own way right now. Paralyzed by fear and um, could be having a lot of expectations, but yeah, a situation where, you know, you're just um, confused. Okay, more than confused, this could just be fear, fear, fear. You're letting your thoughts, you're creating thoughts and scenarios in your head that don't really exist, all right? In the past, we have the magician. So yeah, there could have been something that you were manifesting or someone that you were manifesting, okay, in your life. But uh, right now, it looks like there is something which is a very big burden on you with the Ten of Wands here. Could be self-inflicted with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands here, okay? A situation where um, you're feeling the pressure, you're feeling the burden. You're, it's like a very draining energy, but it's all only because you're the one who's overthinking it. In the near future, we have a wish fulfillment for you. There's something that's going to make you very, very happy. How you see yourself right now is the emperor. You're bossing up, making boss moves, okay? You're making big moves, big bold moves. You're probably wanting structure with someone or you're wanting to, you know, set boundaries. But I think with the emperor and in your emotions with the knight of cups, I think you could have been backing out and you could have been copping out from making a bold move, from expressing your feelings or wanting to be vulnerable towards someone. But finally, you're going for it and you're literally going and wanting to offer someone commitment or offer someone uh, your love or expressing yourself emotionally you're ready to be vulnerable okay with the emperor here you're ready to take control or regain control of the situation here in your environment you still have someone who is quite invested but this person is rethinking uh if they should continue investing because they are still waiting to see the the efforts okay of their labor they're still waiting to watch and see if this is going to be a situation that is going to come into fruition However, we have the Nine of Wands as the outcome here. So there's someone who's still on guard, okay? Someone's being very, very careful. They have a lot of trust issues. I feel, Taurus, this is the person you're dealing with. You may want to come in, but they don't trust you right now. That's why they're waiting to see if they still want to. You know, they're contemplating a lot of waiting, watching, and thinking. I guess they're waiting for you to come in, or they're just waiting for you to see how serious you are about this. But yeah. You're going in for sure with the Ten of Wands. <coughs> All right. Uh, what is the Eight of Swords? Page of Pentacles. Yay. You're thinking about it in your head. You're thinking about wanting to approach someone with stability. You want... I'm literally getting an apology with the Page of Pentacles. If not, I'm just getting someone who's trapped in their head um, and wanting to offer something stable, something committed to this person, Okay. Could be you who's wanting to do this to the other person, but there's something that's keeping you stuck. It could be your own thoughts, okay? Like I said, thoughts which don't really exist, or you're creating your own fears. Ten of Swords wanted to come out. There could have been an ending between you guys. What is the page of Pentacles? This is something small, but it has the potential to grow very, very big. This is also someone who's wanting to work up. All right. Yep, you want commitment with this person. You want long term. You want longevity. You want family. You want to build a foundation with this person. But again, with the eight of eight of swords, you're, I think you're scared. You're afraid if this person's going to take you back or not, because this person doesn't look like they trust you at all. What is the magician here? See, this is a twin flame union. You could have been gone your separate ways okay could be someone who's holding back from you or you could have held back from this person for a very long time but now you're ready to come in and offer this person something very stable you're ready to invest into this person okay this is working towards something tangible something secure what is a magician in the past what is this magician See, the Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Yeah, so there was an ending here. Something ended badly here with the magician, with the Empress here. Okay, 
So I'm getting that there was someone here who wanted, uh, you know, with the magician here, I feel that there was someone here who literally manifested this relationship. Someone was very hell-bent on making something happen, but something ended badly here. Someone landed up getting, feeling backed up and betrayed. And uh, it could be that there was that the person here who realized their worth and value, okay? And someone walked away from the relationship. Because this person could have reached that point of exhaustion. Someone was literally giving the other person a lot more importance. They gave the other person priority. They reached this point of exhaustion and there was an ending here. There was a lack of balance in the past. But yeah, someone was willing and ready to do anything to make things work out. But yeah, something happened and um, things just fell through. What is the Ten of Wands? What is the Ten of Wands? Yeah, with the, with the Hermit and the Ten of Wands, there's someone here who's doing a lot of thinking right now. This could be someone who's hermiting, someone who's ghosted you, you could have ghosted them. But either there's a lot of pressure that someone's going through, a lot of burden someone's going through because the other person has ghosted them, there's no communication, there's this split, there's breakup, someone's just completely quarantined themselves, like literally energetically. And there's someone here who's wanting to look for answers with the Ace of Swords, or there is this need of clarity, there's this need of a breakthrough, there's the need to clear the air, but that's not happening, which in turn is, uh, over. It's, it's a very overwhelming situation. It's draining the energy out of someone. What is the hermit? Someone literally chose to withdraw their energy. Damn. Fuck. That is 10 of wands with the 10 of wands. That's a lot of burden. Someone's literally ghosted. Someone's just literally doing a lot of thinking, which is stressing the shit out of them. That's exhaustion. That's exhaustion. And that's a lot of exhaustion. Someone's doing a lot of thinking over and over and over again. But believe me, with a helmet, if you don't know how to click out of that isolation it could turn into overthinking okay so i feel that because it was a big burden on you because it was a burdensome situation you chose to ghost you chose to get get into your cocoon you chose to do a lot of thinking but you probably didn't realize when to come out of isolation and then you started overthinking which probably started draining you even more okay but that's like too much going on in your life too much going on this person has a lot on their plate they have shit coming at them at every moment or this could just be someone who's ghosted you and that's like creating a lot of pressure on you you just don't know what to do about it but yeah the homer is someone who's thinking logically someone who's wise at the same time okay could be dealing with someone every time, you know, this relationship goes south. Every single time something happens and this person chooses to completely withdraw their energies because they feel they have no choice. And then they create their own, in, they, they create their own burdens. What is the nine of cups in the near future? Yep. There's a wish fulfillment. There's going to be an equal give and take. This is balance. This is reciprocity. Equal exchange of something. Could be communication. Could be emotions. Could be investment. Could be working hard towards a stable foundation, etc. Anything. Because we do have the four phones here. I feel there's someone who was trapped in their head. They're coming in with with wanting to offer you something tangible okay and what they want is the, the four of wands they see you as marriage material they see you as wanting commitment could have been wanting commitment in the past okay but with the magician you could be dealing with someone who chose to be single the magician is usually someone single okay they like to be on their own and they feel like they can make anything happen okay they have that confidence they have like the gift of gap and with the empress here you could be someone who would be wanting something long something long term with them but then you realize okay that uh, probably things were just not going the way you wanted or this person was just not in for that commitment or not wanting to offer you the relationship and things ended in the past. The, as soon as you ended things with this person, right, I think that's when this person started doing a lot of thinking and this got to a point of breakdown. I think this person was absolutely at the point of breakdown. They're coming in in the near future, all right? This is what you should expect. They're coming in. It's going to be a wish for, meant for you, Taurus. Equal give and take. Balance. This person is now ready to give you what you deserve or ready to give you what they owe you. What is the Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah. 
but with the moon here there's a lack of clarity here it could be look with the ace of pentacles i'm getting this again and again right there is this new beginning this practical new beginning that's coming up but with the moon here either there's a lot of fear stress anxiety around the situation or there's just a lot of indecision or there's a lot of unknown energy like i don't know what's happening okay again also could be because there is a lack of communication but there is going to be clarity okay there is this a uh, need for uh, we also saw the ace of swords right there is this need for that breakthrough that clearing the air cutting through the bullshit there is confusion it's like you have no clue about what's going on but yeah this is what you're expecting with the fresh fulfillment it's coming in it's going to make you very happy this person wants to come in they want to balance the situation but what i'm getting is with the moon here you're the one who's very confused you're like what the hell You didn't want it till yesterday. What happened today? Like, how are you coming in? I think you don't trust this person. You feel this person's hiding something. You feel this person has a hidden agenda. Could be. What is the emperor? A lot of illusions. You probably literally have like illusions. You're making a lot of things. scenarios in your head which don't really exist in the 3D world but it's all because of your past experiences with this person again i'm getting trust issues you don't trust this person because you feel they're still hiding something or you just don't trust their um their intentions what is the emperor wow wow taurus you're bossing up you're bossing up you want this relationship this is mutual feelings i think you want marriage you want commitment with this person in the past you probably were indecisive you wanted to be single you probably wanted to keep your options open or you know even if not keep your options open you were just choosing to be on your own okay and this person that you're dealing with they could be wanting commitment they could be wanting something stable something long term they wanted uh, marriage with you right something uh, long term and now that they ended and when they ended things with you right you probably went into that ghosting mode and you realized that life was pretty fucked up and the grass wasn't greener on the other side and it was a big burden on you okay it was stressing you out and now that you're coming in towards this person this person doesn't trust you because it's like what the hell like how i mean i don't believe you because you probably could have given, because this person could have had a lot of you could have had a lot of false starts with this false start with this person okay but yeah what you're doing right now is you're bossing up and what you want is the two of cups what is the two of cups you love this person but with the five of wands here uh, i think you're ready to fight for this person you're ready to fight for this relationship you're ready to stick around you're wanting to be with this person on the same page you're going to do everything and anything that it takes because with the emperor here you're sticking to your guns you're like i don't care i want this because you see this person as your wish fulfillment and probably that's how they see you do we have nine of cups twice <clears throat> what is the seven of pentacles this person is probably again still thinking a lot about the situation what is the seven of pentacles i think this person is at a crossroads they are half and half up Yeah, see, because they could have ended things with you, okay, with the world here. They're rethinking or contemplating on whether they want to start a new cycle with you. Because with the world here, that's endings and new beginnings, right? But that's also finishing a cycle. They've completed a cycle with you. They've learned their lessons, and now they're like, I don't know if I still want this or not. There is a lot of love here with the Queen of Cups here. Could be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but there is a lot of love here. This person is. Um, <clears throat> has a lot of love for you but they're choosing to suppress repress their emotions because they're not sure if they want to be vulnerable or open to you page of swords they could be watching you from a distance or this person could be someone who's trying to gather more information about you trying to talk to your friends because they're very very confused okay about why you're back and when you're back you're not even back with an apology you're literally back with something solid like yeah let's do this i want you i want to marry you let's walk towards this and that's like driving them nuts it's like literally like what the fuck you know because things ended very very badly in the past they literally felt that's have been betrayed by you and now you're coming in or bossing up making big moves you know stepping up the game wanting this relationship they, there is a lot of love here it is mutual but they're like no nah, i don't know you know but i i don't want to jump in head you know um head first i mean they're thinking of whether they want to start this new cycle with you or not they want to do a lot of um, investigation a lot of research a lot of uh, analyzing you know 
Like why not? Why now? Like you didn't want it when I wanted you, or you didn't want it when um uh, I I was wanting this with you, etc. Okay, and then why now? I'm getting why now? Why why did you take so much time? Because the hermit could be someone who could have ghosted you for a very long time. Okay, what is the Knight of Cups? See, <clears throat> the magician again, the magician, right? So yeah, I feel like now you're ready to be in this relationship with this person. You're ready to be vulnerable, Taurus. You're ready to open up. You're ready for this commitment. You're ready to express yourself out there. And with the magician here, I feel you're in full blown manifestation mode. You're hell bent on making this happen with this person. You will do anything to make this shit happen because you see this person as the queen of wands. You're attracted as shit to this person. Okay, you see them as the badass. You see them as the shit. You see them as someone who's on their own, who's okay on their own. You also see them as someone who's got a lot of suitors. You could see, even see them as someone, you know, who's very passionate about what they want. They're like this queen of action, the action taker. You know, they get what they want, okay? And that's something very attractive to you. <coughs> what is the magician? The sun. You've been illuminated to this fact after this person walked away, after this ending. I think this hermit mode did a lot of good to you. I think it did a lot of good to you because that's when you've had this realization in this time of separation, breakup. Could be a very, very long time that you guys were away from each other, okay? Could be nine months, nine weeks. But yeah, with the sun here, I feel that this person, I mean, I feel you've had this illumination, that realization, whatever was uh, in the dark, everything's come out in the light. Think something has been revealed to you and what has been revealed is that you want this person and how badly you are in love with them and you're ready to go for it. However, the person that you're dealing with, right, they're very guarded. Why is the nine of wands here? See, they're doing a lot of thinking with the Four of Swords here. This is a lot of thinking, a lot of not doing anything about it, but like, you know, what? I need to think about this. They're going to be in their head. They're wanting to think about this. That's why probably the Eight of Swords also, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. You could be dealing with someone who's probably has, who has trust issues. And the only reason they're holding back, the only reason they're not ready to open up or they're so guarded is because of whatever happened in the past between you guys, because things ended badly here. They're doing a lot of thinking, but yeah, they're retreating, okay? They need a break. They need some time out to think about this. What is the Four of Swords? What is the Four of Swords? Yeah, Six of Wands, but I feel that they're, I mean... You're very determined to move forward. You know what? So from the nine, we're going to the six. So I think after a period of break, after a period of a lot of thinking, I just, I think this person probably is going to, you know, with the six of wands here, I think this person is going to choose to move forward. But I don't think this is someone who's wanting to move on. I think they're going to be ready to move forward with you, okay? They do have trust issues, they do. But I think after a lot of thinking with the Four of Swords, right? They're going to choose to move forward with you and they're going to choose to be with you, okay? They want this public recognition. Or this could be you who is very, very willing and very determined to make things happen with this person no matter how much of a break they take. Because we have the magician here. You're manifesting this person. You're willing to do anything to make things happen and get the wheel turning in your favor, okay? But yeah, this person's going from the nine to six. So yeah, I feel they're going to let their cards down and they're ready to go into, they're going to be ready to um, put in the effort or they're ready to give this another chance. Because with the four of swords, that's a lot of thinking, right? A lot of analyzing. I think they're going to be with you on the same page. You have this twin flame union coming up. This is long term. This is marriage. This is commitment. So yeah, expect the unexpected. It could be a little difficult to get this person to convince you, uh, to convince this person that you're coming in genuinely towards them. But I guess it's going to be in your favor. Yeah. I think it's all because you're bossing up. You're taking control of the situation. You're now wanting structure. You're not wanting something solid and stable. This person may take, their, may take their time before they trust you completely, but I think they're going to be with you on the same page. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.